Good afternoon. Hello and welcome from a sunny South Africa location, the Popo. I'd like to introduce Helen Dunter, Heavy Industry Machinery Company Limited's reactor for making diesel and oils. Ten ton machine can be loaded with either plastic and or oil, but as well as plastics, tires and or oils. You cannot mix your tires or your plastics. The screw conveyor for taking out the waste product that comes out, which I will show you shortly. The feeding con conveyor belt, so when the door is opened up to 60 degrees, none of your workers get injured. Part of the plant, we have a demagnetizer for the carbon black to take out any excess steels that were left behind during the faulting process. We have a mixer for making our own charcoal using the carbon black, that is the residue product, available to the feed into the stamper. I'm just looking for a piece of carbon black. Sorry. This machine over here is capable of producing good quality oils that will be processed and turned into diesel. Starting, starting with the heart of the machine, the furnace, which will be maintained by one to two workers, feeding the wood we're going to help drive the machine. Operation temperatures range from zero to a maximum of 350 to 375, depends on the product. Length of time per burn, you're burning plastics from 12 to 14 hours, tires 16 to 20 hours. The entire process is self-contained, so there's no pollution, there is no waste, from the plastics and the tires flow into here, no chance of fire or explosion. Behind me, I have my heavy oil containers that are emptied on a regular basis during the process to make sure that no water or unwanted products get into the processed oil. The pipe work above me, I have a direct valve to release any excess gases that might cause a build-up and cause the pressure to rise rapidly. The gas is also fed by the same pipe to the burners so that your wood consumption is kept, kept to a minimal. Once the oil, the oil gas has come through the heavy filter, come along the pipeline into a reservoir that holds 55,000 litres of water. This reservoir is maintained at a very cold temperature, both inside and outside. On top we have a blower fan. This is to help super cool the hot oils, especially from the tire residues that come through. Once it has gone through a network of piping and is cooled down, it is then transferred into a storage tank, an underground storage tank. From the storage tank, we will then pump the oils that have been processed up the pipe along the rest of the network, down into the heart of the main beast. Welcome to the Dinter Company's reactor. In here you have two different oils. A light oil and a heavy oil.
which will be processed into diesel. Again, operates on a small fire. Maximum temperature that you will not exceed here is anywhere between 350 and 370 degrees. Anything over that, you will burn and damage your oil. The flue gas, the oil gas residues will go up, be converted up there into a liquid. As it comes down the pipes, will come down onto your coolage tank, which are filled with water and running all the time. This will help condense the gas into a usable liquid. The liquid is stored in two drums which will give you a holding capacity of just over 3,000 kilograms or 3 tons of liquid. Once you have got sufficient liquid in your tanks, you will then pump it up to your upright storage tanks where the chemical processes take place. You are able to get the best quality oil through the Denton Corporation's machinery. Another part of the dental machinery is the shaker to re remove any excess solids and unwanted waste products that should, that should not have filtered through from here, but just in case. A network of piping takes it from the shaker into the filtration tank, where it's special cloth and dinters, special formula silicon sand helps remove any of the last fine particles before going into a storage tank ready for transportation to whoever your client is. Nothing is wasted. Should you have a problem or malfunction on your machine and you land up with bad oil, that oil can be reprocessed when you restart the machine after cleaning. Nothing goes to waste. On a bad drum of oil, you can still get between 30 to 45 percent good oil out of it. The waste product can be used to tile your house roof, tile your roads. We I just want to get the samples. As you can see, the filtration tanks are not massive, they're small, they allow easy flow and a very good product. In our tank we in our tanks this is the sellable diesel. You can see the color. It is beautiful. Rich and as they say in China, perfect. But the chemicals needed for this process are sulfuric acid, caustic soda, special dinter, white and yellow catalyst powders, that are all mixed together up there to produce the most amazing clean diesel from pure sludge. A mixture of 30% of this to 70% of, regu of regular diesel can run motor vehicles, motor cars, your heavy industry machinery and any other diesel run engine. The entire process is self-contained. It will take you a week to make just over 6,000 litres of good quality diesel that you can sell at any price. Inside the reactor but two oils, heavy oil and light oil. The light oil is a transparent color when it comes through the distillation process. 
it literally looks like water. You see, through the eyeglasses, the green color, that is an indication that you have breached the heavy oil in here and that the process has almost come to an end. We here at Twilight Enterprises, privately owned Denser Corporation factory, have been burning since Tuesday. It is now Friday afternoon. By tonight or by early tomorrow morning, our process here will be complete. We will restart again on Monday. I am standing in clean air in South Africa next to heavy machinery, no pollution. I thank you all for listening to what I have to say. If you have any further questions, please contact Stephen at dinter.cn or www.dinter.cn. Thank you very much.